With the launch of Android 10, Google forced applications to request access to your local storage. Apps were then required to ask you via a prompt if they could read the audio files, video files, or images stored on your device. This was a much better solution to how things were before, but not everyone wants to give an application access to all of the same type of media that they have on their device. For example, just because I want to give an audio editor the ability to edit one of my sound clips doesn't mean that I want it to access all of the sound clips that I have saved on my smartphone or tablet. So with the launch of Android 14, Google is improving the privacy protections of your personal data with the option to only allow access to certain photos, videos, and audio clips. We, we can, can see, see this in action right now with the Twitter application. We simply need to tap on the plus button down here at the bottom right and then select photo as if we were going to create a tweet based on an image. Here we can see the new permission access prompt as it appears on the screen. So like before, we can grant the app full permission to access all of the media that we have stored on this Pixel 7 Pro, or we can deny that permission request as well. But we can also choose to only share select photos and videos with the application. This will bring up an image or video picker where I can select individual photos or just one photo to share with the Twitter application. This way we know exactly what images, videos, and audio clips that a third party has access to without letting them have blanket access to all of the media on our device. I have found that this new change in Android 14 is much better than how it was even with the Android 10 implementation. With applications these days wanting to collect as much personal data as they can so it can be sold off to advertising firms, and with the malicious apps that are making copies of our files and sending this type of data off to unknown servers. This new permission prompt that lets us give partial access to the media on our device is a much welcome change. Now for an application to give us this new permission request, it must be updated to handle it. And I suspect that many third-party Android apps will choose to not update so that they can avoid this type of restricted access. However, whenever you have Android 14 installed on your device, even if the application has not been updated for this new permission request, there will be a change in how it can access your photos, videos, and audio clips. Google says that apps which are not updated will only be granted temporary access to the media stored on their, your device even when you grant that permission request and that once the app has been put into the background the system will eventually deny future requests to access that data. This is essentially how it works when granting an app a one-time permission request so that will be the default going forward if the app has not been updated to target this new API change in Android 14.